Nola Jet in Arlington, Virginia, at Bronson Beer Hall. Yeah, good stuff in here. Ooh. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our restaurant review videos, we visit the German restaurant Bronson Beer Hall in Arlington, Virginia. For big beers and burgers, this German restaurant and beer hall is located in Arlington, Virginia in the Boston neighborhood area at 4100 Fairfax Drive, which is about 16 hours and 1,078 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Bronson Beer Hall seems to be a very popular spot in the Boston neighborhood area of Arlington, and they offer a good selection of American and German food, along with beers, including the option for I'm Maskrug. Bronson Beer Hall has a nice atmosphere, and there were quite a few folks having a fun time during our visit, which helped accomplish a nice restaurant review of this location. So, let's go ahead and see about a holiday party tonight for... My good friends that we're going to be meeting in here tonight, I'm here with my pal, the Major, and we're meeting one of my old rugby teammates, Colonel Orlando, that lives in the area. So, let's go ahead and head on inside here at the Bronson Beer Hall and check this place out. It looks pretty interesting, and of course, when we walk in, if I can figure out the right door to use, I notice they have the signature placemats for their name on it, like so many restaurants. And as we continue on, it's kind of crazy and crowded in here already. <laughs> Orlando, brother, how's it going? Good to see you. My buddy, uh, Maiden here. So, I'm impressed. This place was pretty full of folks for the early times that I came in here. They have a good selection of beers and other drinks on display, along with a lot of draft options. So they have quite a nice selection of items in here, along with a little wine there. So uh, definitely, they've got a nice gift area as well. So this has a lot going on in here. There's quite a lot of nice seating. And of course, I'm gonna get my iron mask going. Let's try it out. So, mmm, prost. I'm very happy to get an Iron Moss. It's always good to get my leader beers, and uh, me and the Major do enjoy doing a little Prost with an Iron Moss, because hey, bigger beer's better. So let's take a look at the menu and see what kind of food we can get tonight. So for starters, we have a sausage board, grilled wings, schnitzel fingers, Bronson nachos, beer cheese dip and chips, pierogies, tater tots, spinach and artichoke dip, fried pickles, cheese curds, and we have pizzas with a classic margarita, the Italian, the heat, wild mushroom, sausage and Brussels sprout, barbecue chicken pizza, pizza al pastor, sides, German potato salad, handcuff fries, mac and cheese, sweet potato fries, roasted Brussels sprouts, desserts, hot cookie, key lime pie, and then we have bratwurst with bratwurst, chicken bratwurst, chorizo, spicy Italian, half smoked sausage, pretzels, Giant Munich, Stuffed Pretzel, Jalapeno Cheddar Jack Pretzel, Caprizi Pretzel, Mac Pretzel, Blue Crab Pretzel, Sandwiches, Pub Burger, Bronson Reuben, Roasted Club Sandwich, Nashville Hot Chicken Sandwich, Cubano, Hawaiian Grilled Chicken Sandwich, Salad, Caesar Salad, Chef Salad, and Entrees with Schnitzel and Currywurst. Sadly, Colonel Orlando had to get weighed in the next day, so he had to get a chicken salad and he couldn't have a beer. But the Major got some chicken wings, and he also got a pizza, because I guess he was extra hungry. And of course, I had to get this delicious sounding pub burger that came with french fries, and it was a nice big thick piece of meat and a pretty nice looking bun. So let's dig in here and uh, see how this burger is. It looks pretty darn juicy, I have to say. Whoa, look at it. It's already kind of dripping some juices all over the place. And oh my goodness, look at all this stuff just dripping out of it. This thing is super juicy. So they definitely have uh, done a really good job of making it quite an overall very overly almost juicy burger. This thing is just squeezing out all sorts of uh, things and liquids coming up. So it is chock full of juicy flavors. Uh, I was a little concerned that all this lettuce hanging out might make it a little slippy, slidey, and make it go all over the place. Uh, I have to say, though, the structural integrity is maintaining pretty darn good overall. They've done a uh, 
really good job of using the cheese to glue it all together. So, uh, really good job of structural integrity. I certainly have my doubts. Uh, it certainly is a little on the messier side. And each and every bite I take is making all kinds of things drip out, of course. So, um, I don't know how neatly I'm going to get through this, but the flavor certainly is there. So, I'm having a uh, overall good experience with this. And I'm really happy the structural integrity is holding up because uh, all this lettuce often leads to all sorts. Oh, 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 we had a little slippage with the lettuce. I was scared that was going to happen. Uh, hey, though, the burger still stayed together, though, so good job. Even though the lettuce is kind of escaping now, the burger overall is not falling apart. Got a little tomato hanging out the bottom, too. Uh, however, the burger is still holding up, so I'm pretty impressed overall, even with a little bit of failure of the vegetables there. We're still doing quite nicely overall. The meat and the bun are really sticking well together, so that is not causing a major emergency that I might be afraid of, like I've had with so many other burgers where the meat starts crumbling and falling apart and it just disintegrates. So this is uh, generally doing pretty good, I'd say. And uh, the flavor definitely is holding out with each and every bite. They cooked it perfectly the way I wanted it. So I think this is uh, certainly very worthwhile to get as uh, one of your options if you're in the mood for a burger. So the Major and Colonel Orlando both reported they really enjoyed their food. And uh, Colonel Orlando actually lives in the area and he comes here all the time. So this is one of his spots that he enjoys. And I have to agree, I do enjoy the environment here. These french fries are uh, nice and crunchy on the outside, good on the inside. And now one fry left, here we go. So now I've totally destroyed this plate of food, so destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this really juicy burger, and hey, all the great drinks they have in here. I really enjoyed this place. And thanks so much to Colonel Orlando. He paid for all of our drinks and food in here. So thanks so much, Orlando, rugby brother. I appreciate it. So we did a little more exploring, walking around, going to other places in this area. But our main reason for being here was a Christmas gift for the Major that he bought for himself on eBay. So the Major bought this fantastically beautiful Jeep on eBay and came up to pick it up here in Arlington, and wow, what a beautiful Jeep he got. So congratulations, Major, I really like your Jeep, and I expect to be able to ride it a lot more when I come to visit. And Merry Christmas to all of you, and I hope you all out there get your special gifts that you want as well, and have a great time with all of your friends and family as well. So, thanks so much to everybody at Bronson Beer Hall in Arlington. Thanks again so much to my rugby brother, Orlando, and Thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. Would you kindly share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm and really help this channel. So make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.